Good morning once again, YouTube. What's going on? Welcome back to Pro Vibe Garage. I'm Jamie and this is Mara. And today I'm going to start my video by saying I am going to be changing up my design a little bit on the center console. Um, I found the, um, the two sides that I made out of styrofoam is a little bulky looking, uh, a little too straight. So I'm going to curve them a little bit and uh, make it a little bit more streamlined so join me and uh, we're going to get this cut down sanded and into fiberglass or polyester resin um, start forming this uh, center console to get it permanently installed Okay, so the first thing I did was take the straight um, area, as you can see here. I marked it, cut it, and now I gotta smooth it. Okay, so got my two pieces cut. I've got them uh, a little nicer shape, I think, to the console. Bring it into the car and we'll take a look and see how it looks. So there, got the flashlight on it. You can see it's a little nicer, a little more streamlined, I guess. A um, little hard to see with the outside flashing through, but it allows me a little bit easier access to the CB as well. So that's why I was thinking of this. Instead of having this big hunkin' whatever sticking up, kind of have it streamed back a little bit more. And uh, yeah, it'll allow me some little easier access to everything. This I'm going to mount out here. It's well out of the way. So uh, gas, brake, clutch. Gonna have lots of room. And originally I had played with the idea cause there's a hole here that had a uh, trim piece like this in there. I had played with the idea of having a little indented scalloped area right here. Uh, I'm not gonna do that anymore. Now I'm just gonna leave it like this. I am going to, I have fiberglass cloth. I am going to make this here, one piece with this, temporarily screwed in to the little piece of framework behind it that actually clips to the center console. First thing I'm gonna do is I have the polyester resin. I am going to mix that with a lot of hardener. I got some extra hardener, just so it dries fast and doesn't eat through the styrofoam so much. Uh, I don't know if the polyester will. I know fiberglass resin probably would. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna mix that with some thick hardener. I'm gonna get the cloth over this as quick as I can, just a nice single layer so it creates one piece for now and I'll start finessing that later. I also want this to be formed into one piece from these three as well. Okay, so I have cut little pieces of the fabric. These ones are gonna go in the corners here I have put um, uh, JB Weld here. I've let that sit for a little bit. You can see that it is better. It's a little stiffer than it was, but it hasn't fully finished gluing or drying yet. So while that is now um, somewhat in place, I'm going to add this to the inside corners just to strengthen that up a bit. And then 
a bigger strip just to attach this bottom piece to this like that for now and uh, like I said I'm going to put a lot of hardener on that and let that set uh, and then once that is fully cured then I'll start wrapping all of the styrofoam and make it a big solid piece. So here you can see the resin and the matting and here you can see that it has started to eat into the styrofoam a little bit. It's not so bad. It's already hardening up and how I've created a solid piece. Um, this will be rounded off eventually and it will be removable. The uh, frame piece behind here has some clips that go into the uh, center console. So I'll be able to remove this once I'm done. Uh, for now, I wanted this to make it into a solid piece so it is sturdy enough to remove. And then I'm gonna build a piece that will cover the back as well here. 
Once that's done, I can continue on with the fiberglassing. It's not so bad eating into it right yet. A um, few layers and it should be solid. And then I'll be filling it with uh, body putty. So it's now been a couple of days since I've done any work on this console. We had yesterday and today a bunch of rain, got a little chilly, and uh, I'm kind of working, you know, just outside the garage. Fumes and all that from the fiberglass or the uh, polyester resin. I had set it up and test fit it to the center console, the, uh, the foam and the insert piece that I'm making. And uh, today, trying to take it back off to continue working on it, I broke the little piece that is going to be my... Can't see it. There we go. This piece. So... This is broken. I'm now going to make it out of stainless steel. It'll be a lot stronger and uh, it's really not that hard to do. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So now using the broken piece, the broken bezel that I was gonna use to house my CB radio, um, I will transfer the shape and the cutouts and everything over to the stainless steel and get my air saw and cut that out. From there, I can drill some holes and pass through screws into the rigid foam. That should hold it in place and then uh, continue with the fiberglass. So I'm not happy, but shit happens. All right, so I've got my hole cut in it with the help of my drill, my hacksaw, and the CB fits. That's where it's gonna go. So now, change of plans again. I'm still gonna make the little foam pieces that'll fill this in as well as this side. But I'm now going to make it all uh, fiberglass, all one piece from this to the the bezel around the uh, CB radio as well. I'm gonna just, I can't put screws through it. There's not enough meat here. So uh, that was my first plan was to put screws into here to hold it nice and tight, but I'm just going to make it one solid piece. This is gonna have a bracket underneath that will hold it to the center console and to the CB itself. And I will make it Secured, all is one piece. Uh, I don't think from there that I'll be able to pull it out if I need to. I'll have to tip, probably take the whole console out, but that's okay with me. Once it's in, it's in. I don't plan on taking it back out, hopefully. All right, we are back. It is another couple days later. First nice day we've had in a while. And uh, yeah, you can see everything's still full of rain. It's a little warmer again. Uh, the rain brought the cold and well, shit happens in the spring, I guess. So I've now got the foam encased in fiberglass and attached to the metal bezel here. Hopefully that's going to do some work. I've got the second piece of foam over there encased. And once that dries, I will attach it to this side. Uh, hopefully, long story short, this is going to work and create a nice solid piece, a base foundation that I can build off of. If not, uh, spoiler alert, I have a new anvil coming in the mail, a larger one. I've got a small one back there somewhere behind the Mando. Um, it's good for small things, but now I've got a bigger one coming. So there's going to be a video of me uh, prepping that, I'm sure, coming. Uh, I'm going to build a new stand for it, get my welder back out. Going to have some fun forging. But I digress. I, uh, I'm hoping that I can get this thing to work. And uh, if not, I'll attempt to make a whole bezel piece out of metal, get that welded. And I'm pretty sure I can get a nice looking one out of that. But we'll see how this one goes first. Uh, I'll end this video with this and possibly start finishing the foam 
in the next video or like i said starting to forge it out of metal so we'll see how it goes and i uh, hope you follow me uh, like and subscribe and see me in the next video see what happens and uh, yeah thank you for watching and uh, as always check me out on instagram uh provive underscore garage and uh yeah see you again